Alrighty, back at it here. Make sure I got this die roller captured. Three. Oh, well, I don't gotta change nothing. Sweet. Let's fucking get it. Alright, patient. Tethys. At least we start with Frenzied Swarm. Not. I, at least we got the hosting can as well um, with the siphon I guess like the siphon's pretty bad if I didn't have well I don't know it's not great but at least I have frenzied swarm that's basically the only bright spot here or that's an easy Arcus I mean this is this doesn't look too bad um, yeah hope for conduit oh we'll just do chill one then Oh my. Stygian at magic. It's a little iffy, honestly. If I get, like, double sweeper, that could be a fucking run ending. Um, hmm. I mean, I see Wormkin, Wormkin. Stygian on a bad steal. Fuck. I mean, uh, speculatively, I should just take it, because Nota Stone really isn't that good. Well, Tethys is so bad that it's always worth considering skipping this, but I think it's probably just fine here. We have good enough starting cards that we can do this. This is a little iffy, honestly, though. It's the hard boss, but I got chill win. We'll just have to line up our, uh, our shit appropriately. I think I really have to do this, though. Like, if I can somehow get a good unit here and somehow make use of this founding seal that's gonna be the ideal fucking situation alright we're gonna go here 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 Maybe this guy can just sort of die. I definitely don't want to take that damage. I think I could just mitigate the damage here. Well, six. I actually do want to get hit because I want I want this to die. So do I do? I think I do more damage by doing that, right? Overall. Okay. I do want this guy to die. Okay. Um, we'll just try to cycle back to that, I think. And I'll just do this so I don't get a scourge. Sweet, we don't ever cycle back to it. Well, I had two of them I could have cycled back to. I also could have got Frenzied Swarm, but... Instead, we got dead weight and two lances. Sweet. Whatever. Nine damage isn't that bad to play. Uh, it's either flash freeze or offering token. I think I'm leaning toward the offering token. Yeah. It's just a much better incant card. Could take the Echo Transfer. Uh, Echo Infusion's pretty good for fucking Tethys, though. This is Infused. I don't think I'm ever going to get much better situation than that. That's a Glare Minder, but that's a Siren of the Sea. I could, the really greedy play would be to take Glare Minder. You know what, though? In, the, in this combo, I got other Sweepers that essentially do the same thing. Let's just take the Siren. Not get too greedy here. So, do we go to the right and try for multi-strikes? I think so. Or just like armor and cant upgrades. I don't think I want the carver here. Incant is just by far the king. One option though is potentially to try trample. It's not as good as multi-strike, but it would mean I would only need this one unit. And then I have space for if I find a totem of some sort. I could also go mid. 
I'll try it. Oh, when's the next temple? Fucking light years ahead of us. Uh, this would be the one time I actually think I would do this, but there's no, not a fucking temple for days. Like, So it's just a fucking dead weight until then. A priority dead weight. And boy oh boy do I love adding priority dead weights to my deck. You know what? Fuck you just for being, just for being a shitty fucking card. I, I'm convinced that that uh, infusion is completely overrated. So fuck it. Okay, whatever. I think a vanilla uh, siren should still be fine with double incant. Don't think I'll take the money here. Uh, spikes is pretty much not worth it. We already have the fucking sweeper boss that we're gonna have to deal with. So I might frontline with Tethys even. I don't know. We'll see. Is Tethys worth putting on the floor? I th I think so. Do need to get some incants up here. Yeah, we should focus on that if it's not gonna give us fractures and stuff. Uh, let's do that. Put two of the or one of them down there. Take one of the backliners out here. Founding seals, founding seal. Um, man, couldn't get crippled, huh? Always love it when you get offering token and frenzied swarm, but it doesn't want to give you crypt builder. Don't think we need echoes for much at the moment, and, or ever. I mean, I'm not going to take any wormkin units at this point, and I'm just better off not. I think some backline clear could be okay. Echo infusion at this point. Definitely good. Of course, the fly is infused there, but hey, I can't complain. At least I got the transfer infused. Uh, I could just self fuse the siren. Where are the hell vents on this map? There. I could I could target that for the hell vent. Uh, let's try to get an artifact. That the scale is pretty good. Uh, rules of containment. Sure. It's not that great, but we'll take it. Ooh, that's really good. Yeah, let's take that. Nope. suppose I could have gone Siren into Egg. I don't like it though. I just want to always draw this first. Let's go ahead and do this. Pip upgrade doesn't help us right now, but probably in the future it will. Actually, it might be in our best interest just to let that die, huh? Get around the Ember Drain. Rules should put in some pretty good work here. Okay, let's do this. Do this, maybe. Do that. Rules is just clearing shit out pretty nicely. On 25 shards, I still managed to get a fucking tank sweeped up. It's just... Oh, it's so stupid, dude. I, I don't even fucking know. Whatever. 
What the fuck ever. Spell weakness, just get some more frostbite on him. Bye bye, Tethys. Never drew, uh, well, I drew a confusion. I didn't think I'd really have to fucking deal with a sweeper here. So, you know, fuck me and all that. But whatever. Siren's Song against Patient, probably pretty good. The other cards just suck. Oh, well, there's a sweeper. I mean... Is it better than Siren of the Sea? Hmm. I'm getting basically a, a normal Siren of the Sea worth of incant into a sweeper because it's founding seal. I think typically sweeper you you really benefit from quick which you wouldn't want into patient but then again I've got a pretty good amount of other stuff well I do run the risk even with the sirens it's like what do our merchant of steels look like it's just horrible I might skip this Merchant of Magic just to try to justify... S the, the, I mean, the steals just look horrible. Like, this one is just so bad. This one's also pretty bad, but at least the stitching I might be able to get... Like, my thought right now is to take the Shark, because I could do Self-Infused Shark. This is a great way around not finding Multi-Strike. I mean, basically, both of these units, what they represent is a way to get around not finding a multi-strike, because we're going to be fine for the rest of the game, just with the, really with the vanilla Siren of the Sea because of this Founding Seal, but once we get to Divinity, if I don't find some actual heavy-hitting spells like Ancient Synergy or Pyre uh, Ice Storm or the Pyre, uh, whatever that other Pyrebound card is, um, I guess also, like, double stack on the Siren Song as an option, but these are all what-ifs, right? Like, if I don't find them, and if I don't find Frenzy Stone, um, I am going to need either a Sweeper or just an Endless Titan Sentry. I think I like the Endless Titan Sentry, though, because that gives me the option to find Multi-Strike or Endless here, or even Large Stone for Titan Sentry. So I like that. Let's just do that. And draw for sure. Could do an Ember upgrade too if we need to. I don't know, it does suck to not hit fucking Merchant of Magic stuff at the same time, but eh, we'll see. Alright, we got Shitstone. Okay. Um, we'll do. S do I self infuse Siren or na to put a Nameless into the Siren? I think I self infuse Siren. That's gonna definitely get me through the rest of the game. It's just not necessarily that good for uh, what do we call it? The only thing that sucks now is I basically have to dedicate a hell Hellvent to this fucking shark. But whatever, we give it a shit stone for now. And if we reroll and get quick, I'll fucking punch the game. Okay, good. Multi-strike. Can't get a goddamn armor and can't one, though. Maybe I should just settle for 20. Uh, yeah, I'll just settle for the 25 health here. There's going to be some times I just need to plop it down and have it survive, right? So we're going to be spending money coming up. Let's not remove any cards then. No conduit. That sucks. That does honestly suck. Makes in can a whole hell of a lot harder. Luckily, we have the founding seal, but... I think this is worth... All right, you guys go up here. I mean, I could also just fit the shark on this floor. I don't know if that's smart or dumb. I'm gonna do this for now, though. 
Mm, since this is here, I kind of want to just put it here, actually. Yeah, we'll just do that. You got any spikes or sweepers to worry about here? I don't think so. Could do that. Well, uh, it's not killing it, huh? That's the problem with not doing a self-infuse. It's significantly less good, right? This is why for a while in the DLC, before I saw Rising Dusk, before I actually saw Dusk play, um, I didn't like Titan Sentry. Like, it was just very underwhelming to me. With just... Granted, most of what I faced hasn't really been sharded up, but even when it starts getting sharded up especially, it's just like... Non-self-infused Titan Sentry just isn't clearing waves, but... Once I self-infuse it, it'll get there. Is this worth playing 3D? He would hit me for one. I don't think it's worth playing. I think putting that there is worth. That's worth it. Um, hmm. Killing that guy is going to be an issue. Fuck. I think I just keep scaling up here. I mean, I can at least hit him with my second strike. I'll get some frost. Oh, this actually is good. Push him back. Now it's not an issue at all. Yeah, let's get one of them... dead forehead? Fuck. Seriously, can I get a goddamn kill here on one of those bastards? Alright, we definitely gotta get some, uh... Some stuff in here. Oh man, it's spikes. Okay. I'll do that. Um, I can definitely chump block with some of that. And that ain't even gonna be enough, man. Um, hmm. We're gonna go one, two, three. Look at how bad of a draw that was, though. Like, this is what you gotta go draw with Incant, and you gotta prioritize at some point removing these stewards, but... You know, for now it worked out, but like, yeah. Pretty bad draw, all things considered. If I had needed a good Incant turn there, we would have been fucked. Uh, so... I do have that extra pip. Guardian Stone might work. It's not that good of a card in all honesty. I think I'd rather just take the unnamed tome, but Ice Storm also gives us that heavy hitter that we might need. I don't know. I think with Patient, I would like to just do this, and it's just maybe the better card anyway. Broken Memories is... not really giving us much back. It could give us an unnamed tome back. I don't think it's worth it for that. Uh, I got a lot of money I need to spend. 25 might actually be relevant here. And I don't think I'm going to have trouble with this ring. Alright, those... I'm probably not going to spend money on Carficious Reflection, honestly. Uh, these aren't really good at all. I'll just take a forgotten name. Spell chain, though. Um, I don't know. How many Merchant of Magic do I got? This one's definitely hittable, but I kind of want to self-infuse the, uh... Man, I, I can't skip every Vortex, so... I don't think I can take this Helvent. I think what I do is I... I take this Merchant of Magic, it's really high value. Then this Helvent's higher value. I can take that. And it's anyway, anywhere here. Like, I, I probably will have to Helvent here, though. Alright. So, no matter what, I'm giving up Vortexes. Just. Uh, it's just the unfortunate way it's gonna have to happen. 
I like Intrinsic uh, Siren Song. That allows us a top floor setup. So I'll get 25, I'll be at 85, then 15 on a Hellvented unit. I don't think I need to Twin Stone anything that's not worth it here. Ooh. This isn't horrible for Incant. It's pretty damn late to take it, though. I'd have to go through two whole rings, get like a one ring to fight with it. Might as well just do this. I could always remove the two shards, right? Granted, I'm not necessarily super great on removals here. I don't know. Capricious here is probably fine. I don't... Other than, like, spell weakness top floor, I don't know that there's much better I could find. Five health on Tethys is not horrible either, honestly. I mean, that right there is 495. See, that's what I'm saying. I, I needed the gold here, and I didn't even get enough. Like, I need 295 to take both of them. I might just take the hammered chest plates, honestly. Get some health there. I'll need to survive spikes, most likely. It's weird, but it kind of just makes sense. Probably should have spent some money on removals, too, but no, oh well. This might not be the easiest. Uh, I don't think I want to take extra damage for gold here. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to play shark. We can do this. I think I'm gonna hold shark for the boss. Okay, I have to. Kill, I do need to kill this. I, it's too much damn damage. Come well, I guess it could just get chump blocked there. Then I could greed this. Let's do that. Then I can do that and that. Yeah, I'm just gonna chump block this and have that come back, I think. Do an incant here. Alright, we have these that we can block with. Um Hold this for when we need it, right? I'm missing out on a lot of incants. Oh man, he's not dying. Well, hopefully he'll die here then. Well, he's not gonna fuck. Uh, he will. We'll do this. I guess we can just hold that. Uh, we can throw this away. We really just want to get to the... We're guaranteed to get to the shark, so we'll just take the shark here. for the incant on this turn, really. Did this a lot of this was out of order, but whatever. Alright, we get through that one just fine. Uh, probably an ice storm at this point is pretty welcome. We do have three shots of some piercing on it. Return soul. Yeah. Either that or force contam. I mean, mini bosses could be an issue. But uh, trying that out of order kind of sucks. Are mini bosses going to be an issue, I guess, is a question. If Ice Storm can get okay. 
what solves the majority of my issues right now. I, I don't think I'm going to have actually an issue with many bosses. We got pretty fast scaling multi-striking Siren. Let's just take the return soul. I don't think it's worth hellbending here because we don't know... Man, I, I'm basically just not going to get endless Siren. Or sorry, I'm not going to get endless fucking shark. So actually, I don't... I don't know what we're going to do with the shark. We may just remove it. Um, sucks. Uh, well, let's think about this. I have... I have a really good set of Sirens right now. If I want them. And I have a pip upgrade from that. I don't need Tethys because it's not conduit. So... I have two sirens, three sirens. I don't need this one yet anyway though, so I could still go to this Merchant of Magic since it is so high value. And then I can go here, here, because I don't need these steals. And I can actually get a Vortex for once. So yeah, I think I like that plan. Now it's all starting to make sense. I mean, duh. Three, three incredible multi-striking self-infused sirens up top with Frowning Seal. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. And we definitely want to, uh, you know, cost-reduce anything that we can. These Frozen Lances, they're pretty good for that. Ten and Fierce, nice. So if I get a holdover, I would put it on the Ice Storm at this point, I think. Would I? Do I need that? I actually don't know. Could just do a 10 there. I don't think I even need to do that though. I think I would like to hold it over. Oops. I don't even know what it was. I Brain is all fucked up. Well, anyway, let's do this, I think. It's either that or a Frenzied Swarm. Could I do Frenzied Swarm? I mean, against Patient, why not? Yeah, let's just do Frenzied Swarm. And I'll actually go 30 on this thing, I think. Yeah, I like that. Um, definitely want to get these down. Ah, I have that frickin' Frenzied Swarm, though. That's... But I should have done it. Well, we can do that there. I fucked that up, though. I definitely should have put that down to zero since it's held over. There's no good fucking reason not to have done that. I'm going to keep the shark for now until I get my second siren. Hmm. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know that I have good for any of these, really. I guess I could hyperscale with a double... I could just do it to remove cards. That works. So get rid of energy siphon. Probably fracture, right? Alright. So we can fit the shark onto this floor if we want to. kind of feel like we do. I think I will. Mm, 
bit annoying. This is why I don't want the fractures, I guess. Like, I can't just play them willy nilly. This is fine. Right. Be nice to double stack that though, so I don't have to run into too many issues with that. Definitely gotta get rid of those shards. Like, I just don't need them. They're actually even like getting to the point where they annoy the shit out of me too. Alright, this is gonna be a pretty easy run. There's just not much more to it. Like some of these a lot of these runs are just like this. It's, it's like I don't know. It's on the one hand, it's kind of nice when you're learning the game to have these super high rolls like this, because it's like, yeah, I get to win, but some of these artifacts are just so stupidly overpowered. Like, Founding Seal needs to be scaled back, absolutely. Like, maybe, maybe like, just have it do, like, a cap. I mean, I mean, there's no reason. Like, think of, like, this fucking artifact right here. Why does this artifact have a cap and this doesn't? That should be reversed, right? Like, maybe give it like five incants, or, or maybe three, even three, are like double incanted a turn. That's still a really powerful artifact. But like, just having unlimited is ridiculous. Meanwhile, this one, it's like a measly one magic power after you've played three spells, and then they cap it per turn. It's pretty fucking ridiculous. Uh, but long story short, I don't think I'm gonna take any of these. They're just not really like they're they're okay, but they're not really all that good. I might take the zero cost consumables just for that, but since they're consumable, I wouldn't want them. I think. All right, now I think we do want to start the Hellvent process. We'll check this first. Hmm. See, this one's maybe worth it, though. Is it? I don't think so. That one's just not worth it either. The cavern sucks so much. I hate that fucking cavern. Alright, let's get another one of you. We're at a hundred. If it's penitent, I'll still want the uh, the thing. So there's just no conduit at all. I am fucking psychic. So I mean, Tethys has still been okay. I, I I don't mind showing that much, but it really just isn't that impactful, right? It really cuts the relentless rounds down. It's a nice little hit onto a tank. Like there's definitely worse champ paths, right? Like this is way better than the Penumbra Gorge and Monstrous Paths, right? But obviously you want Conduit, at least a point of it. But a uh, full, full Frostbite, I mean, it's okay. But yeah, we're just not gonna use it. We'll still use it this fight. 
Just wondering if I should go to Shardville. Deck is still pretty fat, unfortunately. I don't have uh, this. This is, this is probably worth. Let's get rid of a fracture, I think. Yeah. Mark of invasion. Yeah, this is why we have a strong ship. Alright, we're still gonna put you here. I'm not a madman. You know what? I'm, for this fight. Nah, we'll do this. I was gonna like be fancy. Well, I fucked the whole Ember Drain thing there up, but whatever. Don't think that'll all matter. Dying. Keep encanting here then. Deck is kind of weak. So Tenthus there had a relevant hit, right? We're Looking at damage, otherwise. Uh, we can save this for the other turn. Actually, not really. Whoops. <laughs> I mean, none of this really matters. living armor. It is living armor. And we know what the rule is with living armor. Thou shalt not punch down. Glacial seal for the, uh... Yeah, just take that. Uh, soul crushing guilt. Wanna have that on hold ever? Not that necessary. But still pretty good card. I think I won't, though. It's a rare time I'll skip it. I just don't really need it. We actually went the right route for once. Amazing. Double stack. Hmm. I think I'm gonna keep the shards in the deck. The eventual shards. Then I could do something like that. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I'd do it. Why not? It's powerful. Let's get that down to zero before I forget. Know thyself. Um, put a 10 there. What's in the middle? Purge. I'll purge another one, why not? And minus 2. That's probably stupid to do, though. So, what's his name is going to have trample here. I, mean, I could just do this. Um, if I want to take the lightstone casing, eh, fuck it, let's do it. I'll just do that then. Go to 150 just to get a nice round number there. And removal time. Get rid of these. I guess I'm keeping the shards, whatever. 
Alright, this is not too bad. I didn't even reroll, fuck. I didn't realize I didn't reroll. Yeah, whatever. This run was over the minute I saw a multi striking siren and had our founding seal in hand. Right, let's just put you guys down there. I don't mind encanting this guy up a bit. actually. Um, but that's fine. Don't care about popping that spell shield or spell weakness. Mindlessly play stuff on the floor. No sense trying to target anything else, really. Four times uh, six is actually not enough to kill them, so ironically I actually have to do something here. Oh. Although, if you think about it, I can do that. Oh, I still take ten? What? I'm gonna have to watch, I'm gonna have to see the fucking replay on that one. Doesn't seem fucking right. Something don't seem fucking right there. You guys really aren't getting a flying kill. Come on. I need a fucking break. You guys really fucking let me down. That. Ain't gonna happen this time, though. I mean, he's basically fucking living armor level. Yeah, we got blank pages. Nice. That's me. I'm BP. Mr. BP himself. We'll watch out for the oil spill. Rules can uh, help me out there. The rules that I and I boom hold that for other stuff. I think let's get rid of that. Bye bye, Tethys. We hardly knew ye. I can technically fit him down. But he's just gonna feed armor to the next floor, but you know you know what? Maybe that's okay. Maybe that is okay. And then you don't wanna take a damage if I don't have to. Here we can do that. Fuck them up. Like the little bitches that they are. 
still with a pip upgrade too fat. This will tend to even come down. I don't want to come back down from this cloud. Uh, do we really need to save this or what? I guess. I knew it. I knew it would be that fucking guy. That fucking guy. Die your channel? Go die, please. You're fucking useless. Let's give them some loving. Another Wilmington? Ew. Ew, Wilmington. You nasty. You nasty. Wow, you pieces of shit couldn't even fucking kill that whole fo that wave. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What a horrible turn to draw that, huh? Some, ac some actual just bullshit. Dude, stop giving- I can't even put this guy down. Alright, he'll die here at least, right? Okay, good. I was willing to risk it. You know what? Fucking Siren Song. I got- I have something for you. I have the solution here. Right, let me- let me calculate this. You got- And you get to 600, so... 6 times 4 is 240 times- Yeah, we're not gonna be able- we're not gonna be able to do it. Never mind. Uh, just, I guess kill him the old fashioned way here. Shouldn't I have seven now that I fucking, uh, you know, did that? Oh, look, a uh, naked primordium. Well, blank pages is the big hit so far. Since that wave fucking fucked us last time. I guess I don't trust in my ability to actually kill this shit anymore. So many motherfucking shards in my deck. Shards in my deck. Shards in my deck. Motherfucking shards in my deck. Oh look, it's just the it's just like the cavalcade of fucking horrible goddamn champions. <laughs> Wildenton, Dire Channel, fucking I don't even care that it's full brother Barla Prince, it's still a prince at the end of the day. At the end of the day it's still fucking prince, so uh, does that kill them? I think it does, doesn't it? Yeah, then I can still do my shit up here. Uh, okay, cold channel, you're alright. You're alright, cold channel. But really, are ya? I don't know that you are. How many shards are they gonna shuffle into my deck, dude? I should have a million goddamn ember by now. Look at all these goddamn shards. My deck is mainly vengeful shards. Four of them in the deck. I mean, it, it, abandoned stave. I'm not saying it's should be more broken than it is, but for consistency's sake, can you at least give me Ember when I have all this extra shit in my deck? Like, would that kill you? Isn't that how it's supposed to fucking work? I can't even use this because it'll hurt my pyre. Whatever. Alright, that run, that run was stupid. My apologies for even recording it. Like, I mean, what do you even say? It's just dumb. Like, at a certain point, I'm not even making content at this point. It's like, I'm just documenting the fucking experiment, I guess. Um, and let's be honest, Wormkin did nothing that run. I was 100% carried by everything Stygian. 
Worm, Wormkin just added little fucking flair here and there, but really that was just Stygian doing Stygian things. It's like you could. That was as much of a. Uh, that was as much of a Wormkin run as it was a Tethys run. Let's put it that way. That was a Founding Seal run. Uh, that was a Siren of the Sea run. Everything else, and a, and a Frenzied Swarm run. Everything else could could really, we could really care less about. I mean, look how little fucking Wormkin stuff we used. Kind of feels Umbra-y in that sense, right? But anyway, that'll do it for that one. If anybody did enjoy it, well, at least you can find joy in the little things. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.